if you believe the narcissist will change, don't. I'm speaking directly to the people who are in a narcissistic relationship. I'm speaking to the ones whom I spoke to you last week about how the narcissist quiz you, how you've been probed and studied, uh, how they have done their recon work, and now you've been, you're actually in. They have moved to their last phase. Uh, they, you've already gone through the love bombing. Uh, remember we said they would either come to you with a whiny story, they will come to you uh, from a spiritual aspect, or they'll come to you um, uh, uh, pretending to be interested in everything that you're interested in. Um, they different Just different directions that they will come, and then they move to the devaluing stage. Okay, now you're actually in the relationship, and now um, they are making their final move. That's what we're going to be talking about today, my friends, on Borderline Narcissists and Other Toxic People. Hi, I am Sherry. If this is your first time joining us, thank you. We love to have you. We are a growing community. Uh, if you have uh, been with us for a while, thank you. We love your support. My friends, if you can hit the like, share, um, and subscribe button, that will be great. Uh, we're hoping to get this message out to as many people as we can to expose the narcissist. So grab your coffee, grab your cocoa, whatever your favorite beverage is. Uh, we're getting ready to talk about uh, once you have found out, you've been ensnared, uh, talking about their last phase. Uh, and we're also going to talk about um, what they do once you find out and you're ready to um, make your move. Um, first of all, uh, we know nar narcissism falls on a spectrum. Uh, uh, they can be your garden variety, con artists, manipulators, uh, compulsive liars, all the way up uh, to uh, the psychopath. Uh, the psychopaths uh, are the violent narcissists, the ones who have incorporated more than just uh, a, a shove or a push. Um, those are the ones who um, are extremely controlling and, and, and they actually go uh, to the <clears throat> um, to the um, end of the spectrum. Generally, it, the, the law generally have to, has to get involved. I will tell you this, there is no documented case thus far um, that anyone has been successful uh, in um, and uh, curing the narcissist. There have been a, uh, instances where they have made the narcissist aware that they are a narcissist. Um, but don't forget, narcissists believe that there's not there, there's nothing wrong with them. Uh, everything is wrong with everybody else. And that's why narcissists are reluctant, if any, uh, will change. So if you're holding on to the idea that you can help this uh, 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 if you if you put more love into the relationship, or if you do more of what they ask you to do, um, or this, that, and the other, that uh, eventually they'll come around. I'm sorry to tell you, um, or to share with you, um, most likely and not, especially the narcissist that has pathology. Um, this is the way that they have behaved all um, uh, uh, all their lives. Uh, narcissists are all about self and survival. Narcissist does not possess the necessary tools that it takes to self-evaluate, correct uh, things of their uh, in their character or in their behavior um, um, that will uh, 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 allow them uh, to be successful. Uh, uh, in, in, in relationships and jobs. It affects every area of their, uh, of their life. Nothing is excluded because in the narcissist world, it's just the narcissist. They are their own gods. Um, they look at other people as objects. They do not uh, uh, look uh, at other people as human beings. Um, they lack empathy. The, uh, they're not a, able to put themselves in someone else's shoes and to see uh, how that other person feels. 
Now, I know that the narcissist can be great at times. You you probably, uh, if you're a victim of narcissistic abuse, you already know about the emotional roller coaster. They can sing like a god singing um, uh, from time to time, but most of the time they um, are crude, devalue. Um, uh, some of them even manipulate you out of your money. Uh, uh, a lot of them uh, have uh, you uh, have opened up accounts in other people's name and 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 ruin uh, people's credit because they're not aware. Um, they have uh, physically harmed people, or uh, they may be the breadwinner and keep you from having uh, any money at all uh, as a form. Uh, 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 of control. I have my notes here because I want to make sure that I do not um, leave uh, uh, anything out. Um, so now the devaluing is just oh, too much. You, you you just you just feel like you now at this point the narcissist probably got you feeling isolated. Uh, the narcissist has probably uh, uh, cut you off from your friends. Um, um, either you are financially ruined or um, um, uh, um, funds have been limited, uh, cut off basically. Um, especially if you have accounts together. Uh, um, the, the narcissist has, has, has come up under the household and just taken over everything, every aspect. And you're probably feeling like you're walking on eggshells um, around the narcissist all the time, never know what to expect uh, when the narcissist uh, um, uh, wakes up. You don't know if you're going to get Dr. Jekyll or Mr. Hyde. Uh, the moments that you do have these amazing moments uh, with the narcissist, um, that is the pretend person. The real person is the one that's devaluing me. The real uh, one is the one that's manipulating you, conditioning you. Um, that is what they know. They know survival. Don't forget, the narcissist is packed on the inside, full of shame, uh, full of guilt, uh, self-hatred. Uh, even though they on the on the outside, they may present something else. Uh, the narcissist uh, um, uh, feels entitled. He feels that everybody bows down and owes that person. Anyone who does not comply within that mindset that the mar narcissist has has to go. Uh, if, if the narcissist have uh, quite a bit of uh, um, uh, have a few friends, uh, they are most likely flying monkeys. Even the family, some of the family members have become uh, flying monkeys uh, because uh, the narcissist has also, also devalues their own family because in their world, it's just about them. Um, some things that you can probably expect uh, if, uh, if you're thinking about uh, 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 leaving um, the relationship, the first thing is do not tell the narcissist. Um, if uh, the narcissist will be able to pick up on your body language, um, um, a lot of times uh, it's, it's better to, um, uh, to, if you can, um, uh, uh, try to get your finances together so when you do uh, go to a different location, um, you'll be able to kind of uh, have a, a, a way of supporting yourself, especially if you have children. Now, let me give you this disclosure very quickly. If it's gotten to a volatile situation, a volatile situation where someone can really get hurt, pack the kids in the car, leave. Don't, don't, don't follow these steps. Get out of there. Uh, um, however, um, uh, but, but some things that you can do uh, uh, if it hasn't gotten to that point is you don't want to make an announcement that you're leaving. Uh, if you do have someone that you absolutely trust, that you know is completely loyal, um, you may want to mention to them what's going on. Limit it the people that you speak with. You do not want it to get back to the to, uh, to the narcissist. And some people that you think may be friends, especially if they are very good friends with the narcissist, just don't take that chance. Don't even tell the narcissist family because a lot of times uh, they're on um, they're on the narcissist side uh, uh, simply because they've already been conditioned. Uh, um, but meanwhile, uh, to protect yourself emotionally, you can go gray rock. 
do uh, gray rocks it is exactly the way that it sounds. You know how boring and, and, and emotionless a gray rock is? Um, that's what you would have to do with the narcissist. Uh, no matter what the narcissist says, what the narcissist does, uh, unless you're in danger, but, uh, but uh, all the little buttons that the narcissist used to push, be motionless. Give them nothing in return. Uh, uh, not even pleasurable things um, um, get out the uh, you ha you have to cut off uh, uh, any type of physical uh, um, relationship you, you know what I mean um, um, nothing just go gray rock keep your mind on what your what your agenda is and what you're trying to achieve um, uh, uh, the narcissist uh, will be able to pick up on your body language because don't forget they have studied you for an extremely long time but even if they are uh, saying you're acting funny or all this uh, other stuff blah 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 uh, just still go gray rock, gray rock. Um, uh, don't confess and all this other stuff still ignore the narcissist kind of like when the narcissist give you the silent treatment as one of your punishments um, um, the next thing that we, we might want to look at, once you have secured a, a, a place to go, uh, or if uh, you have to, even if you have to go on the run, I mean, uh, on, on, on the drop of a dime, I mean, um, still, no contact. No contact. Uh, any uh, uh, friends that uh, you have in common, um, you're going to have to cut uh, those friends because they will report your every move um, back uh, to the narcissist. Um, uh, another thing um, um, uh, to remember, the narcissist will find uh, some type of way of contacting you, whether it be on social media, whether a frequent a place that uh, you two um, have been previously, uh, whether it be driving by, or by, if they do find out where you are, driving where you are, expect these things, calling you on your job, then the narcissist is going to do anything and they are going to love bomb the heck out of you. That's going to be their first ta tactic. They're going to love bomb you. They're going to do every, they're going to want to uh, um, pull you back in. So they're going to do all the things that they know that you have, uh, uh, that you've been wanting them to do the entire time. But, uh, uh, my friend, that's not uh, still, if you've decided to leave, no contact. Don't, don't go for the, the love bombing because, again, um, it's just a tactic. Uh, once they pull you back in, the cycle will start all back over again because don't forget the love bombing, the recon work, and everything they did to pull you in the first time. That's the fake them. The real them is what you saw when you got into um, the relationship. It will it, it will it will repeat itself. Um, let me see. Uh, the narcissist uh, expect the narcissist to destroy anything that you leave behind. Once they realize that you are gone, the narcissist is going to destroy everything that you have left behind. They are not going to say here, you know, it didn't work out. Let me give you your stuff back. No. They're going to destroy everything uh, that you have, but you can always get more stuff if you can't take it with you. Uh, you know, when you if if you have to leave, um, um, the narcissist will also threat suicide uh, and make sure you know it. And I know that we are taught if someone tell you, uh, 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 tell you they're going to commit suicide, take it seriously. Um, so if if this comes about somehow they get in contact with you and say they're thinking about suicide and, and all this tell them to not dial 911 or you can dial 911 for them and um and, and send emergency services over to um over to the narcissist but nine times out of ten it is a ploy now they're going back to playing on your sympathy um narcissists uh, uh love themselves too much however uh you may even have one pretend um may have one um uh, who may take a few sleeping pills uh, and, 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 and call the emergency room and have an ambulance come pick them up just so you can go to the hospital. They have done that. Uh, um, my narc did that. It's, uh, my ex-narc did that. That's how I know about that tactic. They will do it. They will go through they will do go through extremes that you never thought a narcissist will uh, that you're somebody who you spent this time with um, 
they would do things that you never thought that they that they would do. Okay. Um, let's see. I already said this. Um, they. Um, oh yes, if you have uh, children in common, um, they will prey upon the children, and what I mean by that, uh, they will use children as leverage. Um, um, so it's best, uh, if you're going to, uh, uh, to, when you're going through, if you're married or, or if you're going to, uh, co, um, co-parent, um, it's best to, if you can get a mediator, uh, in between, so the two of you, uh, do not actually have to communicate, but sometimes I know that's impo that, that they can't be done, um, uh, when you speak with them on the phone, if they're talking about anything else other than pickup time, drop off time, uh, anything outside uh, uh, of that conversation needs to be cut because they're doing recon work all back over again. They're still thinking of an angle to get back in. Uh, uh, but unfortunately, the uh, uh, a lot of us... Sometimes it takes a couple times of leaving um, the narcissist uh, before it really sets in because it's hard for us to believe that a narcissist can be uh, so sinister and so manipulative because it goes against nature uh, uh, and, and, and things like that. Um, and it, it took a couple times for myself. So I'm speaking from experience, uh, uh, not just because I'm a psychology major, but I'm speaking from actual experience. Um, 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 it, it took a couple times for me to get it wrapped around my head because I just not, I just, you know, couldn't believe the steps that the narcissist is willing to take, uh, is so outside of the norm. But the simple fact is What's going on with the narcissist is the narcissist issue, not yours. You will not be able to help the narcissist. No matter how bad you want to help them, you will not be able to help the narcissist. The narcissist, and pretty much don't want help. The narcissist does not believe anything is wrong with them. They believe it's wrong with everyone else. So in my, uh, my other video, uh, we have... Uh, 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 I did a video on uh, how uh, the narcissist's view or worldview is distorted. Uh, their lens uh, the, uh, uh, has been distorted. Um, they are look they um, they they are maladaptive. Think they they think maladaptively. Um, and, 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 uh, I did also, I did another vid video on, uh, how narcissists knows right from wrong. They know they are hurting you. They know, uh, they, it's not like they don't know what they are doing. They may not, uh, have, uh, wrap their mind around the fact that they are a narcissist. They may not understand to what it, they may not understand how, um, uh, how uh, they got such uh, so extreme, but they do understand the pain of another human being. They understand when they're lying to you. They understand your tears. As a matter of fact, tears uh, um, is is boosts the narcissist up even more. Narcissists enjoy your tears. That's how empty and hollow they are on the inside and their distorted view if you are fighting somebody over them if you uh, if they have left and you calling around looking for them or if you crying because they have said something just totally horrible or just treating you so poorly that makes them feel like somebody it's about how it makes them feel regardless as to the cost it's costing you or anyone else, if they bought, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, use every penny that you have in the di uh, in, in, in the bank and leave you penniless, it's a thrill for the narcissist. If you cannot pay your bills because they've stolen all your money or they did whatever, it 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 actually makes the narcissist feel alive, and 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 a lot of a lot of uh, this is jaw dropping. Because that's just not the way things are supposed to work. Um, a lot. Of, I re, uh, also have a video about how this maladaptive thinking, how this negativity, this cruelty, uh, stems from birth.
I mean, not birth, I'm sorry, stems from uh, uh, experiences that they've had in childhood that has somehow solidified in their mind that it's all about them. Now, we have heard that hurting people hurt people, but a lot of people have had uh, very rough uh, childhoods and are not narcissists. Um, uh, uh, you know, a lot of people, some, some people do have poor behavior, poor manners and things of that nature. Uh, uh, but they have the ability to, uh, um, to look within themselves, know that this is not acceptable, that they are breaking boundaries and modify their behavior because they have the ability to, to, uh, insight. They can, they can reflect and make adjustments according to their reflection. Narcissists cannot. Um, narcissists are full of, re uh, of uh, rejection, um, they are full of shame, and they're not going to risk in, uh, 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 doing a self-reflection to feel any of that. It's been suppressed so long. Those type of uh, positive emotions uh, where we can uh, build ourselves up, uh, encourage ourselves, or know, hey, don't do that to somebody, or don't do that to somebody. Morals and values and all of that did not develop in the narcissist. Um, uh, and, and, and like I said, the narcissist is aware. Uh, I know some people call it a dis, uh, uh, some people say that uh, uh, narcissism is a disorder, uh, and it is. It's a personality disorder. Uh, but it does not mean that they do not know. Mistreating anybody is unacceptable. Uh, uh, and to the degree in which they are willing to go, it's just plain dogmatic. Um, nothing is below the narcissist. Uh, uh, you know, you know how people say, oh, I just can't believe you sunk to that level. No, they'll sink even lower. Nothing, because in the narcissist world, what I want, what I feel, what I think, what I, this, this, I, 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 that is the only thing that the narcissist is concerned about. That's what made the narcissist do the recon work in the first place. Um, they have enough sense to do that. So they have enough sense to know that what they're doing is, 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 is horrible. Uh, a lot of people have to go to counseling um, behind the effects of an abusive narcissistic relationship. Uh, uh, because all the highs and lows, the highs and lows, and you and, and the and the and the victim having to stay in that fight and flight mode all the time, it burns out the nervous system. It it torments the brain. Um, you know, we was not built for all that anxiety and stress and 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 instability, uncertainty, and we still a lot of times try to keep pouring into the narcissist, thinking if I can just do this, if I can just do that, uh, uh, blah blah blah. How is it that uh, 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 you know, a couple of days out of a week, he treats me like a queen, and it's and 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 and, and it's genuine. Uh, um, uh, and then you're like, what? I mean, what happened? Now is is back to treating you like a like a, like an animal. The animal part is the real narcissist. They will throw a couple days in there of of, of treating you well, um, to keep the hope alive. To keep the they get narcissistic supply off the hope that you have. They know they're not going to change. They know that they're not even trying to change, even if they tell you that they are. We even have some um, that will, uh, um, um, uh, uh, when the person leaves, uh, they'll tell you that they'll go to counseling. They'll get better. All of a sudden, they have seen the light. They'll go to counseling, and most of them spend their time trying to outsmart uh, the counselor. Um, um, they really won't participate. And they'll still get in there and blame you for everything that has happened because they refuse to take accountability, responsibility for anything. If it does not fall within their box of them, of me, 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 they're not interested. And, um, and, 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 uh, and because we think that if we invest more time, invest more love, love them no matter what. If we invest all of this and all of this, then there will finally be a payoff. And I'm here to tell you there will not be. 22 years I was in the relationship, never a payoff. Uh, it ended horribly.
So, my friends, those are a little more of a, a you know, a, of of what I really wanted to speak with you uh, 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 about with the narcissist. And this, I'm talking directly to the victims. Bravo for you for being brave enough to uh, to to try to leave the relationship. Um, it's going to take time for you to heal. Um, it's, it's, uh, you know, a lot of people think, okay, I've left the narcissist, uh, 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 I'm out of that relationship. A big burden has been lifted off my shoulders and that's good. A big burden has been lifted off your shoulders, but because you have been conditioned, depending upon how long you stayed in the relationship, if it's a significant amount of time, because you have been conditioned for so long, you're going to find that, um, that uh, uh, you're gonna you're gonna go through a grieving stage. You're going to grieve. You're gonna find yourself missing the narcissist. You're gonna it's it's gonna be some pain there that's gonna have to be dealt with. It's gonna be some depression there. It's gonna have to be uh, uh, dealt with. Even though the narcissist wasn't sincere about the relationship, you lost something important. You were. You're gonna have to grieve that. It's going to have that all that negativity that you was going in and out of your ear for all those many years, you're going to find it's going to come up. It's going to keep coming up. It's going to keep coming up until it's properly dealt with. And it's going to take time to deal with it. It's going to take time to uh, to deal with it. Some of the things that um, um, that you're going to deal with may surprise you. You're going to miss the narcissist. You're going to want to go back to the narcissist. Um, but you may even tell yourself the pain that I'm feeling from being apart from the narcissist uh, uh, is worse than the pain that you felt being in it. At times, it just might feel like that. You're grieving. Uh, but I assure you uh, of the process will start back over. You cannot save the narcissist. Um, they, they are um, emotionally arrested. They, uh, it, it, again, it happened during their childhood stage where empathy did not develop as it should. It's not even sometimes even, it's not that the narcissist won't. They cannot uh, 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 in, in, in a lot of cases. Now, again, they know right from wrong. I don't want to make any mistake about it or get that confused. They know right from wrong and they have no and 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 it's never okay to hurt another human being. Must less get enjoyment out of it. But my but my friends, narcissists get enjoyment out of it. When the mask comes down, uh, and those who have been in the relation in narcissistic abusive relationships, you're gonna know what I mean by the mask. When the mask comes down, they become awful. Get ready for them to have flying monkeys that's going to come against you. Um, they're going to have people spying. Um, they're going to be. They're going to harass you on your job. Uh, they're going to uh, ride up and down the street. A, a lot of them will even have a female or or male, whichever um, you know. Male, narcissists can be male and female in the car, uh, so you can see it if they know where you are. They're using that person too to get to you. They would do that. Um, they they're going to pull whatever stunt, and it's not because they love you so much that they want you to get back into that that they miss you, so they want to get back together. That's not what it was. Narcissists hate to lose narcissistic supply. They hate to lose in anything. And their mentality is this: Oh no, that person didn't have the nerve. I own that such and such person. I own everything about them, even though they've never bought you not one thing in your life. They own you. They own everything about you. Uh, 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 my narc, even four or five years later, was still trying to get in contact with me some type of way. They're going to use other people. They're going to use their family. They're going to run a smear campaign on you. They are going to lie, lie, lie. Get ready for it. And some people are going to believe the lies that the narcissist tell. Because just like they was doing recon work on you and conditioning you, they knew one day that the relate you're gonna they'll be found out because you're not the only victim. Um 
They knew that they would be found out. So they start making the alibi. Check this out. They start making the alibi uh, to other people the very moment that the relationship started. The alibi started then for why the why is breaking up. They are already conditioning people around them speaking ill about you because they know the relationship will be found out. So they have to go ahead on and set the alibi. Uh, the only thing that a narcissist fears is exposure. And just to give you an idea of how uh, the narcissist uh, has irrational thinking, say for instance, um, Say, for instance, uh, we're friends and uh, you come over to my house or or it, it, it can even be a significant other. It doesn't even have to be a friend. And they see your money laying on the table. Whereas another person would be like, OK, that's not my money. I'm not going to touch it. You know, I don't see blah, blah, blah. A nar a, the way the narcissist uh, reasons in their head is, hmm, I wonder, can I steal it and get away with it? If they don't see a way that they can steal the money without being detected because they hate exposure, um, then they'll leave the money there. But if they find a way to steal that money without it being pinpointed back to them, that money is good as gone. That's how they rationalize. That's how they, uh, uh, um, and when they justify their bad behavior, say for instance, they get caught cheating. You catch them without a doubt. Uh, uh, it, um, you, evidence, you know, you catch them without a doubt. What they would be, if, if you was a better wife or if you was a better husband, I wouldn't have to go look for it somewhere else. It's your fault. That's their rationale. They believe that whatever they do is justified. They believe emotion, how they feel, how they feel is truth. No logic applied to the situation. How they feel about a situation makes it true. You can have evidence to the contrast of, uh, um, of what they may be accusing you of. Um, if they believe, say, for instance, they believe that you're talking about them, saying ugly things about them, they don't have to hear you say it. Nobody have to tell them that you say it. But because they feel that way, you're automatically guilty. And they're going to retaliate against you for doing it. Even if you're like, wait a minute, I haven't done any of this. Not only with because they feel it, then that makes it true to them, regardless of anything that you say. And they will start retaliating against you over what they believe, and they genuinely believe it. That's how, that's their rationale. And that's why it's very hard for narcissists to get help and to change because this stuff is so deeply rooted and embedded into the narcissist. We can't help how much lo love, the more love you give them, the stupider they're going to believe that the person is. Let's see. Well, my friends, this is Sherry with Borderline Narcissist and Other Toxic People. I wish I had a better message today, but I wanted to address that, answer that question the best that I knew how, uh, but to be real, but to be honest. Um, again, uh, I had a 22-year relationship. I'm speaking from experience. As a matter of fact, that's what made me not only start this channel, uh, but to also, I wanted to find out more. I was so devastated by the relationship. I wanted to find out more. Uh, so I decided, um, I changed from a pre-law, uh, from a, um, I was a law major, but I switched over, uh, to a behavior science and, uh, to get a better idea, uh, uh, of what happened. Because in order to heal from the narcissist, you 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 have to understand their way of thinking to help you heal. It's not for their benefit. For understanding will lead to you forgiving the relationship within your heart, not not theirs, not their benefit. They have nothing to do with this process that I'm speaking of. In order for you to heal from the relationship you have to understand what happened you have to understand how is it that uh this person um can can be a godsend one day and then be a monster 
those other days. You're going to have to understand the mind of the narcissist and how they operate. And you will understand it had nothing to do with you, even though it felt like it because you're actually in it. But the narcissist did the, the, the previous person like that, and they're going to do the next person like that. If you get back into the relationship, they're going to continue doing you like that because that is who they are. They have arrested development that, that, that happened early on. They became spiteful and it kept building over time. To, and all the positive emotions were so suppressed that they no longer exist anymore. It's negative, negative, negative. And, and it's just been building layer on top of layer, layer on top of layer uh, uh, until they start off at your garden variety narcissist. And if they're not stopped or, um, or anything like that, they become on further down the spectrum to sociopaths. Some become psychopaths. So to understand that it's not about you, it never was about you. Uh, the relationship was a fake from the beginning, sinister from the beginning. It is the game that the narcissist is playing with themselves. The more you understand the narcissist and how narcissism works, how the disorder speaks to their mind and work, then the more you understand that it had nothing to do with you, dear. It had nothing to do with you. It had everything to do with what is going on inside the mind of this person that has not been that that has that's not fixed. That's 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 what you that's what you got into. It had nothing to do with intelligence. It had nothing to do with um, oh how how can I be so foolish? None of that. Uh, people of all walks of life, caliber of life, social status, educational backgrounds have been ensnared. By the narcissist okay my friends um that's it for today i know this is a little longer than usual but i wanted to i really wanted to speak uh to the victims of narcissistic abuse please like share and subscribe leave a comment below if you'd like to continue talking about this further until then bye guys